All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to take a look at these two monster truck kits. These are 1 16th scale monster trucks. These are pretty awesome, honestly. They have um, movable steering and plug wires, I think, if I remember correctly. I haven't been in these kits in a while, and I swear I had shown them before, but I don't see the video anywhere. Um, so we're going to do it again. And I noticed that the bags are intact on the inside, so at the very least, I never opened the bags to show. And that's what we're going to do today. Now, curiously, I'm going to start out with this little icon here. Have you guys ever seen this next to Ravel? C-E-J-I. Uh, all this time, I've had this kit for a while. I never noticed that before. I don't even know what that is. Uh, let me know if you know. But otherwise, these... Um, these are not particularly new. I will, uh, let's see, so I'll pull this one down. Let's see, this one here was, of course, $4.99, or $11.99, maybe. Anyway, this one is from 1984. That's the Swamp Monster. And this one is from... 1990 and my guess maybe it originally came out in 84 but or maybe they revamped it to put that um, um, topper on there topper hey what do you know that's me anyway let's take a look on the side there's a good look at what the built-up looks like probably won't use those decals that's for sure and then this one here, quite a bit more pictures here. Undercarriage, I remember, I haven't been in these boxes in a while, but I remember the undercarriage and everything being quite cool. And of course the stack's going straight up through the hood. And there's an alien on the hood or a swamp, uh, a swamp monster, duh. Anyway, let me get these boxes open, and I won't go piece by piece, every single piece on all of them. I'll just kind of do the highlights. So let me uh, see what I can find in there. All right, so let's start with the decals. And I know, look at that. Good grief. I don't want to get too close because it might hurt the camera. That is the most neon decal I've ever seen in my life. Oh my goodness, look at that. Neon pink, neon orange, neon green. Good grief, they look like they're glowing. And gosh, I don't I don't know about actually putting them. They have they seem to have a good amount of carrier film on there, if you see there. So I might want to test one of the smaller ones. It may or may not work. You may or may not want to put it on there. Good grief. Anyway, looking at the Swamp Monster. These are more the type that you might actually put on there. These go on the door. And these look like these look like they're good too. Plenty of carrier film. Look at the size of that one. But there is the Swamp Monster, kind of like the creature from the Black Lagoon. And if you saw, this goes on the hood, and his little claws there are um, holding on to the exhaust stacks when you put it on there. I think I might have to actually use this set. That's just too cool. And Swamp Gas, that is a decal that goes on a little gas can that goes in the back that you um, have the option yeah, I would use these decals. Okay, see Daylighters. And it does have the KC Daylighters up there. The other one doesn't because you can't put the roll bar on there with the cab on, or the topper on there. But, you know, I guess you would have the option to leave it off. Anyway, moving on. Good grief, I'm going to have to put that in an envelope or something. 
Okay, so here we go with the tires. Now look at, just for reference, look at the size of these tires. I mean, wow. Of course, they're two-part tires, the, you know, front and back halves, and you see there, there's a lip on one of them to uh, have you centered. And so I don't know what kind of glue you're going to use to get these things together because it, it's like vinyl. I've got some serious kind of uh, roofing cement, you know, kind of the uh, clear, if you, you guys have never seen that. Impossible to explain right now. I've got some glue that will glue those. Anyway, here's a look at the uh, the front, those little diamonds that's normally I thought was on Firestone, but this is Goodyear. Maybe I'm wrong. And then the back of the tire is just the diamonds. But the tires look like they're the same on both kits, so I don't think there's a reason to pull them out of the other one. They're over there in the bag. But, uh, yeah, very, very huge tires. And this is important to note. The um, You see there how far... Looks like these uh, centers kind of glue together as well to give it a uh, stability because um, it's just got the tiny little wheels. Anyway, moving on. So just in case any of y'all were wondering, what is that under the tires? What is that thing? I want that. This is a cutting tray made by Dixie. You can get these in the paper plate, you know, styrofoam plate aisle. These are for um, temporary cutting and they're throwaway, and yes, they would be great for models, in case you're wondering. It's like a commercial. Okay, I'm about to open the chrome tree. I just want to show you all. Sealed on that side. Sealed on that side. This has never been opened, and I'm going to open it, and I'm going to get them all scratched up. Okay, here we go. Look at this beautiful chrome. My, 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 I don't know where to start. There is the front push bar. Let's see, go like that. There we go. Look at that. And you know, like on the box art, they painted it silver. But wow, you know, you would want to leave it chrome. And then there's the um, winch hook. There's the um, separate gas can that you put the uh, swamp gas decal on. What am I looking at here? It looks like a step bar. Because it is a step side. Yeah, it's a step bar. And then I believe these are called hurricane wheels, like on the General Lee. Those look pretty good, don't they? And as I was saying, See, there's the front of the wheel and there's the back of the wheel. They're not so deep that they're like two inches from end to end. They uh, mount into, uh, if you remember, the, um, the cylinder in the tire that's going to make up for the width of the tire. And then you just glue on the ends, probably with that same special cement. New mirrors. Wow, look at this stuff. And there's the grill. One great looking grill. And the diamond plate, my goodness, let's get in closer. Look at that diamond pattern. And that is the front bumper. And then these are the exhaust stacks. Two piece for each one. And the Swamp Monster holds on to them. That, that is a nice chrome tree. Okay, here is the cab. You call me crazy, I thought it was black, but looking at it now, that looks like, uh, not like a dark brown. Anyway, oh, let's look at that uh, emblem there. Scottsdale, right? Yeah, Scottsdale. 
And it's got enough size to it that you might be able to actually paint that. But, um, yeah, what is that? Is that a uh, shade of brown or something? And we got the sunroofs there. Here's a look at the front. Kind of disappointing. There's a uh, molded in radiator. I'm kind of hoping there is a separate radiator s somehow, but probably not. Ooh, molded in wipers. Oh, come on, guys. You could have done more detail than that. Get this big. Anyway, let's open up that giant bag. Okay, here we go. First of all, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I was wrong. Looks like there are inserts that go inside the wheels and make up for that space so that it's a solid, solid wheel all the way through. So uh, that's good. So you'll be gluing plastic onto plastic instead of trying to glue uh, the plastic wheels onto vinyl tires. So those are spacers. All right, so again, I think this is brown. I'm a bit colorblind, so I'm a little lost. There's the interior. Got a stick shift. I didn't see that. I would, I guess it was on the chrome tree, maybe. And there's the step sides wheel flare. Back of the cab, and there's the hood. Very, very cool. To me, this almost looks like a root beer color. Could be wrong. And a firewall. Unfortunately, oh, you could have done so much here. We've got a molded in brake booster. Molded in, what is that, an AC blower fan? Mm, not sure what this is. There's a little toolbox. Yes, and here we go. There's the dashboard. Let's get in close. Look at that. We got some wood grain on the on the dash. A key? You can actually be able to put in a key? I'm gonna have to try to find that little radio and there's your little instruments oh good luck I didn't I don't remember if there's a decal or not I hope there is because that would be really hard to paint otherwise there we go okay that takes care of that one let's look at the uh, chassis stuff okay now this is getting a little ridiculous I had to go get another cutting tray this was one of those fold-out ones. There was a kind of a hinge right here. And you fold it out, and this gigantic thing was molded as one piece. If you can believe that, can you imagine the size of the tool that did that? My, my, my. Anyway, let's look at a couple of things. First of all, a couple of things came off the tree. I believe these are the rear shock, rear shocks. Kind of a neat setup there. Really looking forward to building this one. And then here is the chassis. Pretty basic. Now, unfortunately, I think, just doing the quick look around, I believe the whole thing is upside down. I'm going to have to flip this whole thing over because we got like the backs of the parts here all right let's go okay much better now we have the actual parts to look at here is the engine I don't know what engine it is maybe the instructions say which engine looking pretty good in 1 16th scale there might be a 350 this is a Chevy, so uh, who knows if it's stock or not. Your intake manifold. Kind of looks like more shock absorbers, but I don't think so. Unless they're like 
from the stock kit because there's a stock kit of this I don't know if you guys know I've got that one too remind me and I'll try to grab it it's it's at the um, the other house because those are the front shocks so these don't know what they are anyway big drive shafts here's the rest of the engine parts you know I went looking on the chrome tree and I found the shifter but I still haven't found that key and here's the other thing so you got your shroud for the radiator but the radiator was just that molded molded in thing and your axles and differentials right here this should make it pretty easy to wire because the distributors got the little pegs on there and you just slip the little hoses right onto there and there you're good this would be the transfer case which in this case might be a drop box although it's looking pretty high just a transfer case which the drop box is and there's your springs they used to do it all with springs your roll bar and what am I looking at oh more more roll bar pieces and then of course the wheels turn so this is um ew. I have to look to the instructions for that there's a steering component and this is the um, steering wheel shaft and there's another part of that I think and I saw a neat piece here somewhere the little shackles there look at that right there see that I think that's a working pitman arm like I was saying the steering works and so you're going to be able to put your uh, you know your little these things oh, nope I'm completely lost I have to see how that goes together but anyway I think that takes care of this giant piece I mean that's huge all right moving on okay so here's the bag that has the glass but of course I don't want to take it out of there because oh yeah I do all right there's a better look at it oh these pieces are so doomed they're gonna get all scratched up look at that looks beautiful until it gets scratched up all right so there's your sunroofs and there's your headlights side marker lights or turn signal lights man this is just going to be so awesome but look at the bubbling looks it's like bubbled out the uh, rear window i don't think the real truck is like that but my gosh that's neat and look at the um, the little vent windows molded in there the front windshield and it's got a little bit of a tent to it these are super super nice man that's nice okay only one more little part okay you just got this little you got this little part bag here made in Japan remember you guys remember when everything was made in Japan instead of China Anyway, this is the little bag that contains the, uh, there we go. I think those are brake line and spark plug wire. And if that is spark plug wire, it is wire. And it's not going to just fit right onto those little posts that I was explaining. But gosh, you don't really want it to anyway. So you got to clip those little posts off the distributor and drill holes where the posts are and then jam these in there. Anyway, that's it. There's nothing left in the bag. Look at that. 
Let me check those clear parts, see if they're scratched yet. Not yet, but it's gonna happen. Oh, no. So as expected, just like always, I don't know how they pack these things at the factory, but there's no way to get it all back in the box. Flush, I don't know, I'll work on that. Anyway, at this point, I'm going to head on over to this one, and I'm basically just going to show the differences between the two kits. I'm not going to go through all the parts again. But, you know, for example, here's something different. We have a different glass there, because this is the glass for the the, the bed topper. And it is not in a bag. So... Just take a good look at that. It's in perfect shape, luckily. It's amazing, all these years. I think it's been loose in here. And it looks just fine. So what I'll do is I'll bring it over here. I'll set it on this sandpaper where it'll be safe. Okay, moving on, let's get that body out see if there's any differences between the other body okay so there's as you, you saw these paper towels in here that's what was in there so somebody at some point maybe it was me did i show this other kid at some point maybe i did but i guess it was me or maybe who knows but fortunately this glass is also in perfect shape, eh, maybe a few blemishes. The um, headlights, no, okay, so it has square headlights. Oh, yeah, so did the other one. Square headlights and then the, the circular ones were for the, uh, the push bar and this one has a different grill bar and square headlights. So that's what that is. And this is all in perfect shape. And so we got to make sure that doesn't get any worse. We'll put it over here. Okay, let's get this body out. Well, well, actually, no, this, this bag is not open. We just had a little tear in there. But I don't believe I've ever opened this. Nope, but that's where the topper is, so we're going to have to... Get that out. Take a look at it. Okay, on this one, the chassis set is uh, set up quite a bit different. It looks as though to get it into that smaller bag, they did a whole bunch of sprue cutting. These are definitely cut right there and there and there and here and here and here at the factory. I think somebody was pulling them off the big tool and cutting it right there and jamming it all in a bag. These parts look similar, but it's not the, um, not on a giant tree. And these two appear to be the same ones, just on a cut sprue. But on this tree, they had to change it to get that topper on there. I was really kind of hoping they, they would both have toppers. But nope, just the one. And there's a look at it. Look at the back of it. And we have these other pieces here. This big piece here, obviously, attaches onto the back there. And I'm sure it swings open. This seems to be a piece of that as well. And these are huge, guys. This is, look at this, huge. And everything else is pretty much the same, so this one's going to steer as well. And the chance of... No, no, all the pieces are here. I was thinking that these were missing, but there they are. And it's my hope, because, I mean, obviously this was wrestled with at the factory. I can imagine clipping the sprues and parts falling on the floor, and somebody who's not a model builder just jamming it all in the bags and saying, well, it's got most of the parts. I don't know. It seems to have all the parts. So that is the difference on that tree between the two kits. Really, really pretty neat. Moving on. 
Okay, so this is what the cab looks like in yellow. Would I build it in yellow? Boy, the yellow would be hard to cover up. Wow, you know, that's yellow. I don't know, but otherwise everything else on that tree is the same. It's just everything is yellow. <laughs> Very yellow. Oh yeah, and the um, the bed does have, let's see, bed there. It does have the wood grain texture to it, as you can see there. So, just wanted to make sure you guys can see that. Oh, and there's the other side of those. Interesting. Okay, now let's move on to this chrome tree because there's a little bit different there. Okay, here we go. Obviously, the big difference on this one is the grill. Looking at that grill, that is definitely unique. The only problem there is that the mesh, if you look at it from the side, the mesh part is recessed, and I would think that that should be forward, and that the, um, the diamond, the holes, the squares, should be recessed. So it's like backwards. But it is what it is. What can you do? I think that the rear bumper is the same. But as for the front, you don't get that awesome grill that's on the other one. You just get a push bar. But uh, yeah, and it does have... The, um, now, there were holes on the top. Ooh. Yeah, right here. Way over here. See that? There's little holes on the top of the topper for putting those um, KC Daylighters. These things right here. So you can put those on this one as well. I think that's about it. Except for, remember that great little bag of the uh, plug wires and brake wires that were in the other one. Uh, we got nothing on this one. You know, as if we couldn't find things to do that with. All right, other than that, let's take a quick look at the instructions and uh, wrap this up. Okay, taking a look at the instructions here. This is the mystery on the distributor. So you remember we had the two size wires ones are actually tubes you cut off little tiny bits of the tube and that's your connector between the uh, the little pins sticking out then you put on a little tiny section of tube and then you jam your uh, you, know, you put the same thing on the I didn't see on the engine but I guess those things are sticking out you put more on there and then you jam the wires into those little tubes and look correct fi firing order one two three four five six seven eight uh otherwise i just wanted to show you the um the steering is pretty neat let me see if i can get in there one hand so the uh, there we go As you can see, the uh, the wheels will swing, and then it's got the steering arm, the tie rod there, that will be loose to work. But now here's the neat part here. You've got a little steering gear box that connects to all that. And then if you look on the next page, let's see if I can do that. Yeah, look here. So that's why that uh, steering column is so long, is because it actually connects to that steering box. So theoretically, the front tires, the front wheels, will steer by turning the steering wheel. Let's we'll see if that really works. Other than that, uh, the same basic stuff, you know, there's the uh, confirmation that you put that 
center connector in the wheel for the tire. Um, and it's uh, 51 steps and you got yourself a Swamp Monster. Let's see if there's anything in the other instructions like maybe no wiring because there's no wire in there. So the instructions are a little different on this one and that's something. I mean it's basically the same kit but they didn't do it in a booklet they did it in the giant you know roadmap style. But here's your confirmation right here where's the step. Um, basically you're putting the engine together and there's absolutely no reference to, um, there's the distributor, step number seven, and then step number eight, there's nothing on the wiring. So they left the wires out of it on purpose. Maybe they got too many complaints. But otherwise, you just have a little bit of different um, assembly because you've got some... Uh, there's the uh, the topper there. Did I miss something? Step 48. There's something else. Oh yeah, steering is the same. Definitely still going to steer from the steering wheel, theoretically. But... Um, I missed something. Oh, okay. Upside down. So there's a look. My goodness, this is going to be one heck of a kit. There's a look at it with the um, the lights on there and some antennas. Altogether, this thing would be standing really tall, like a foot. There's a look at the back. This is this is just going to be tremendous. This um, might be the better of the two kits, except that it's molded in yellow. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for these giant kits. Let's see if I can get everything back in the boxes. It looks as though I'm not going to be able to. But uh, let's just take one more quick look at these decals. <laughs> That's insane. And, uh, oh, yeah, let's check, make sure these clear parts didn't get... Oh no, they're gone. All right, well, the clear parts are gone, but it's close enough. We'll just do the, uh, the pass-through um, windshield. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see if, uh, let's see if I can try to build one of these this year. Wouldn't that be neat? Uh, now there is another, there's a sister kit to these. I think actually came out before these kits. It's the, um, the Scottsdale Stepside um, that's not a monster truck. It's just a 4x4 with some really, really cool tires. I'm going to try to, um, I'm gonna try to do the uh, look inside that box here pretty soon because that's a really neat kit too. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and everybody have a good one.